Good morning children. Our topic for today's video is a prose from our course book. The name of the chapter is Stepping Out and it is written by Charles Dickens. So let's begin. About the author, Charles Dickens from 1812 to 1870 is amongst the most significant names in the history of English prose. As a novelist, his work such as Oliver Twist, David Copperfield, A Tale of Two Cities, Great Expectations and the Pickwick Papers achieved both commercial and critical success. His novels are much loved for their realism, social criticism, memorable characters and comic touch. Dickensian is an used as an adjective to describe something that is reminiscent of his writing. Now let's learn about the key characters of the story. We have Oliver, Fagin, Charlie Bates, Artful Dodger, Old Gentleman and the Policeman as the main characters. Now let's know about the plotting of the story. Oliver is born into poverty and hardship. His mother dies soon after his birth and no one knows who his father is. Then Oliver is sent to a workhouse where orphans were made to work and starved. After that, Oliver is eventually sent to work for Mr. Sorberry, but after the latter apprentice, no Claypool, insults his mother, Oliver loses his temper. Unfairly punished and starved again, Oliver runs off early one morning. He has hardly a penny to his name, but he is desperate to escape this torture. So now, children, we can imagine what the condition of this poor child Oliver was. He was already born into poverty and hardship. He had no parents to look after him. Now, after that, people used to torture him. So we can imagine the mental and the physical condition of Oliver at that moment. After that, Oliver decided to walk 70 miles to London. He has no food, no water and no money. Begging is illegal by that time. Jack Tawkins, who goes by the nickname Artful Dodger, finds Oliver. He buys him lunch and offers him free boarding at the home of a gentleman. Now, as soon as Oliver entered London, in the streets of London, Jack Tawkins, whose nickname was Artful Dodger, finds Oliver and he buys him lunch and offers him a free residence. So, Oliver meets the gentleman, Fajin, in a dilapidated house on a grimy London street. The place is dirty and full of odd characters and silk handkerchiefs everywhere. So now you can imagine the whole scenario of that house. That house was very grimy, very dirty and everywhere there was a uh, silk handkerchief. Oliver notices that the residents of the house play the strange game where they have to take silk handkerchiefs out of Pigeon's pocket without him noticing. Soon Oliver is drawn to this game too. Now, we have learnt about the plotting of the story and now we would be going towards the summary of the story. So, let's begin. Oliver finally gets to go out and walk on the streets with Charlie Bates and the Artful Dodger. Now, they are finally out for work because Oliver really wanted to earn penny and he wanted to work hard and be a rich person. So, he wanted to go move out of that house and go and earn something. So, one day, they go out and they walk on the street with Two of the gentlemen, they were Charlie Bates and the Artful Dodger. Now, let's see what happens. Soon enough, Bates and the Dodger zero in on an old gentleman, engrossed in a book in a stall and pickpocket his handkerchief. Now, what happened? On a humorous note, they were out for a work and contrary, they are into pickpocketing. What they did, Charlie Bates and Artful Dodger, they... Uh, stole the handkerchief of an old gentleman who was in a bookstall and he was fully engrossed in a book. For a moment, Oliver, who had no idea that this was what working meant, was frozen in horror. Eventually, he starts running in the direction Bates and Dodger have fled. Now, what happened? He was unaware, that poor child Oliver, he was unaware that they were out for pickpocketing rather than working and by the time both of them have already done that uh, mischievous act and Oliver was in horror that what happened. So what happened see but he does it a second too late. 
he was unable to flew away with them he was a bit second late and that is exactly when the gentleman turns to take out his handkerchief and see a boy speeding away they both ran away and this boy oliver he was very amused he was very surprised and he took a bit late and while he was running that time the gentleman he could find he could realize that his uh, handkerchief has been stolen and he could see oliver running so definitely his eyes were was on oliver and he could find that this is the person who has stolen my handkerchief so he starts in pursuit raising the cry of stop thief which instantly gathered an entire army of idlers bystanders vagrants and all shades of market people for the chase now children you can imagine the scene of a market and if somehow uh, in the market between the market if you could see your thief then definitely everyone's attention would be grabbed over it so everyone was after that oliver unknowingly that he was not the thief bates and dodger who were hiding till then also joined in to melt to the crowd now see these two people bates and dodger they both have also joined the crowd just to rush for oliver oliver is eventually caught and taken down a mess of blood mud and dust so you could imagine the whole scenario although the mob surrounding him seems to reveling quite sadistically in the poor boy's misery the gentleman himself is quite filled with pity so while he was beaten or something like that other people were a bit having were having a bit pity on the on oliver a policeman arrives eventually quite convinced of oliver's villainy even as the latter protests his innocence and the gentleman pleads the officer to be gentle now see the gentleman old gentleman he also pleads the officer to be gentle with oliver but policeman you know they are very uh, they are very uh, what should i say they are very hard and they are not that soft hearted person so the the policeman was very angry on oliver and oliver is led away dragged by his collar as the gentleman follows concerned and the crowd follows in anticipation of more drama so this was the story about oliver this was the story about a poor boy named oliver how he turned out and how he was involved in the act which was not done by him so this was the whole plotting of the story and how i hope you understand the story thank you so much for watching the video